We have a new piece of art here, Judy. Judy, tell us, how did we come to own this awesome piece of artwork? Well, you know, I contribute to RPAC, Realtor Political Association, every year. And Paul offered a painting, which I just kept my arm up bidding on it. Cause, and I asked Steve John's permission to spend my money on this for the office. And then Paul came and we talked about what we wanted. And this was his inspiration based upon our color palette. And Paul, it's just fabulous. Thank you. Yeah, it was, a, it, was, it was a really great combination. Years ago when I was in art class, they used to say that the combination of black and white or grays and blacks and whites with red is probably one of the strongest combinations you could use. So it actually, oh, really? it is, yeah. So it was really a, a great honor to be able to do it and do something that captures Kansas City, but at the same time, really feels at home in the setting here because it's a beautiful office with a lot of these colors and I really felt uh, honored to be able to do it. Yeah, well the texture and just the motion, I mean it just encompasses so much of Cal Keller Williams and Kansas City. And Constantly I'm moving. I'm just forever grateful you'll be a part of our market center. Yeah. Like forever. Yes. Hashtag we be. <laughs> yeah, I love it. So what was the inspiration behind the, the photo? You know, actually I, I do go down to the plaza quite a bit and almost every single time I go down there I'm either photographing or sketching this particular spot so it's become a really favorite and it's really when I moved away for 27 years and traveled the globe and did a lot of different artwork all over uh, from the Middle East to Europe to other places you know I uh, always dreamed about going back to Kansas City and I'd always think about this particular spot so now that I'm back it's become a favorite uh, um, corner that I go to I really love going there. So tell us about yourself what's what do you, you're an artist? What? I'm an artist. Uh, I grew up um, in Kansas City and left when I graduated from Park Hill, which actually, ironically enough, they have black, um, <laughs> white, gray, and red color. That's uh, uh, so I left. I went into the uh, went down to Memphis, and then at that point joined the Army. So I was in the Army for four years, combat illustrator. Went to the first Gulf War, um, captured and photographed and drew portions of that did manuals for, survival manuals for the guys that were, you know, or operations manuals also, but archiving day-to-day um, -day operations, at least with, for what the soldiers were doing, that they would put in the, the uh, museum for the Army. That was really an honor to be able to do that. But getting out of that, I went to, to art school for a short stint at Kansas City, um, or excuse me, uh, Memphis College of Art. I was there for about a year and a half. Stepped away and then got involved in the music business, did a music business for quite some time and then finally went back and finished my degree at University of Memphis and traveled a few more years and then decided, you know what, I'm done being away from Kansas City and I came back about four years ago and since I've been here it's been amazing to be able to do so many different charities where I'm able to dedicate my time and services to doing work that does so many great things. And there's a wide array of operations, you know, KCRAR, um, you know, uh, American Diabetes Association, I've done work with them. Uh, Harvest Ball, um, Hope Faith, and there's just uh, so many others that I've done work for. It's been amazing to be able to be integrated into the local community doing these things. If, if our agents wanted to purchase any of your artwork, how do we get a hold of you? Uh, Eadart.com, uh, E-A-D-E-A-R-T.com, or uh, Judy can get, a, we're going to leave my number with uh, Judy, and she can get a hold of Lisa, and Lisa can kind of work things out, but I would love to I love doing these Kansas City scenes. They're really, um, it's, being away, you kind of appreciate it when you come back. And so it's, for me, it's fresh. And I hope uh, years from now, I still have the same feeling, but the feeling that. What did you miss most about Kansas City when you weren't here? Uh, you know, I like the intersection of the country. There was a lot of people that I met here that were from the East Coast and the West Coast. It kind of seems like a, like a midpoint. Um, you have a great museum here. Nelson Atkins is one of the mm -hmm. finest museums in the country, in the middle of the country. Um, and I've been to some cities that were larger than Kansas City that didn't have quite the art community that it does here. Architecture is beautiful, and as you see in the background, the architecture mm -hmm. is unbelievable. Um, it's just a great, you know, uh, Midwestern, you know, sensibility, and the people are really nice here, and it's just a great opportunity to be able to mingle again. And my friends that grew up here, you know, seeing me come back, it's been an interesting uh, dynamic and re reconnecting with so many friends that I grew up with. What's the best barbecue? Uh, I can't say that. I hate to say it publicly, but <laughs> uh, I, mm, 
Um, I like Q39. <laughs> that's my friend. Uh, for the record, he also has given us permission to take pictures and share and whatnot. Yes, yeah, no problem. They can, you guys can do anything you want with the photographs or video or whatever. Sweet. I can put it on all my marketing pieces. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Got it on video. Now we can do it. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> anything else you want to add? No, I just, it's, you know, Judy's been amazing. I know it was a kind of, a, you know, kind of uh, hectic getting the office together, and that was priority one. And for me, it was just kind of the tail end. At the time we finally got the office together, I, I had stepped into an area where I was doing four or five events back to back to back to back to back. So I was literally stacked until the first part of the year. And so. Well, this is perfect timing. Perfect timing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so grateful, so grateful. Well, you cut your attention to that. That is really beautiful. I like the detail of this, and then the shh effect. Right. Yeah. With Paul's art, you can look at it from different points in the room, and it has mm -hmm. a different feel to it with mm -hmm. the movement and what you your eye draws to. Different times of the day as light comes in, it's oh, yeah. pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's more than I ever dreamed. Thank well, I, I appreciate that. I I kind of had my mind when you said the color palette. That's mm -hmm. kind of how I saw it, but I. Kind of tested it out on a couple of things before I did, laid it, mm -hmm. and I finally laid it out, and I thought that's going to work. I think it'd be great postcards. It would be. You guys can do anything you want with this image. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you guys permission. If you guys want to use it for Christmas cards, you want to use it for whatever. I don't care. I'm fine with it. Well, that's great, and thank you. Yeah, thank, no you. Well, thank you for sharing your talent. I no think. problem at all. What a no gift problem. you have. What One of the things I found with most of the people I've done work for, a lot, especially business owners, mm -hmm. half the business owners in town are our friends now. Are just it's, it's been a really I mean, that's the way it started. I mean, when mm -hmm. I first started actually painting and people were buying pieces, I had Daniel and Janet Perry who owned multiple restaurants in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I worked for them and they saw me slaving away at work and they said, you know, what are you doing later? I said, well, I'm going to go to my you know, art studio and paint. They said, well, what can you do? We see. And they literally, from that point on, bought every unusual piece of artwork that I would do. Mm -hmm. And they built a collection of about 30 things. Oh my gosh. Uh, so it's interesting to well, you're hot stuff. Well, it's been just, it's just been an honor that people would actually find value in something that you do that you've dreamed about doing since you're But what I like about you, you're a really cool person. I mean, you have a depth to you, to your soul, that I just really appreciate. Thank you.